Mape Kerapoxy CQ gives an impermeable finish to the grout joint. When fully cured, the grout gives excellent staining resistance and becomes an easily cleanable surface. Before considering grouting, ideally all spaces should be removed. Ensure that all joints are free from adhesive or any loose material. When applying grout to the walls, ensure that all areas are protected from spillage. Care must be taken to ensure that the material does not come in contact with any unintended surface. Protective gloves must be worn throughout the process. Upon opening the unit, you will see that there are two components to the product. These are a filler and a reaction hardener. For best results, the unit should be mixed in its entirety. Part mixing can be done, but it is important to weigh out the materials and the required dosage using calibrated digital scales. The grout can be mixed in the tub it is supplied in. The component B, which is supplied in the smaller unit, should be applied to the part A using a spatula. The grout is now ready to be mixed with a mechanical stirrer. This is ideally done on a slow setting. The products should be mixed over a period of approximately 3 to 4 minutes, ensuring both components are fully blended into a smooth paste. Once mixed, the grout will remain workable for approximately 40 minutes. A hard rubber float is used when applying the grout to the tile joints. The method of application is down to personal preference, however, pointing the joints in a way that allows air to be removed from the joint is advisable. The grout must be compacted into the joint, ensuring a full joint is achieved. Once the grout is in the joint, the grout float can be used at a 45 degree angle to remove the excess from the surface. Care should be taken at this point so as not to remove too much of the grout from the joint itself. The best method to removal is sweeping the float diagonally across the tile surface. Once the grout has been applied and the material on the surface begins to dry, the washing off process can begin. It is advisable to have two clean buckets of water at this point. The first bucket will be used to rinse the sponge of the bulk material. The second will be used as a secondary clean. Soak the sponge in clean water. In the first instance, we are simply looking to remove the grout from the surface of the tile. A circular motion can be adopted for this. Regular rinsing of the sponge will prevent the excess grout simply being moved around the surface of the tiling. The internal corners and movement joints must be free from any grout material and can be cleaned out at this stage. If any pinholes or low spots have occurred, simply top these areas up with the grouting material and sponge off. When the excess grout has been removed, the secondary wash can take place. A diagonal movement, turning the sponge regularly, will remove the majority of the remaining residues. Although several washes have been carried out, a slight film may be left on the surface of the tile. The following day, the residue film may be removed using the MAPE Kerapoxy Cleaner. This is a simple spray-applied product and may be used to aid in the standard cleaning process. To use the Kerapoxy Cleaner Spray, apply to the wall and leave to dwell for sufficient time to allow the cleaner to soften the surface material. A microfiber cloth can be used in a circular motion, buffing the tile surface to a clean finish.